Hey everyone, I know all too well that collaboration with clients and even other people working on the same project as you can sometimes be pretty difficult. If, for example, there's a wrong image added somewhere and you need someone to change it, now you have to write which page it was on and how far you have to scroll to find it and god forbid the page has a lot of images so you have to describe that particular image and hope that the other person will understand this is a problem of the past my friends with Arim and visual composer collaboration with clients and colleagues is as easy as working on the same google doc you can simply leave comments on any piece of content on any page and then see those comments in the front end editor where you're able to apply the changes instantly. And another bonus for this integration is that it's available for free. The free versions of both Adorim and Visual Composer. Of course, there's a lot more you can get from the pro versions, but today I'll be going through the free ones. Okay, I think we're ready to see it all in action. So let's start with the Visual Composer front-end editor. First step, obviously, is to have Visual Composer installed and activated. So let's quickly create a new page just so we have something to work with. Okay, now I don't have Adrim installed yet. So now in the editor, if we go to the notification center here and click on collaborate, this is where we see Adrim. So to start collaborating, let's click on the button. Now install Adrim. And now you have to go through this quick registration process. When that's done, you can jump right back into the editor. And this is the home of Adrim now. It's right here in the nav bar for easy access. And this is where you're going to see all the tags that you have. As you can see, we don't have any at the moment. So let me show you how you can add comments. Let's save this page. And now view the page. Okay, here at the bottom, you see the Adrim toolbar. If you click on this plus icon, Adrim starts detecting every piece of content that you have on this page. So, for example, this is the page that we don't like or we want to change. Let's click on it and that opened up the comment box. So, first things first, obviously, you can leave a comment. So, let's go with the basic change this image. And we could be done here, but there are more options that we can choose from. We can share this task. We can get browser information here. Another important thing here is to take a screenshot of the current view. This will help us later to see exactly where the comment was left. Another very handy option is that you can choose what's the progress of this particular comment. So for example, if we want someone to change this image, now it's an open task. When someone will start to work on it, then they'll move it in progress to let everyone else know that they're working on it currently. Next is the priority of this particular comment, and then you can assign it to a person as well. So let's comment. Easy as that. Another great thing about this is that this can be the place where you communicate with the person that you're working with together. It doesn't just have to be this one comment. You can get a conversation going, add files, add images, whatever it is that you need to get through for this particular little type of content. It all can be here. So this was how you left the comment. But if you click on the Adderim icon here, the toolbar opens up more and there are more options that you can do. First, you'll see all of your tasks right here. Here, you're going to see the tasks of this page. And if there are tasks on other pages, like I do right here, you're going to see them here as well. If you want to jump to them, if you click on any of them, it will bring you to that page where that comment was left. For example, this general comment will leave a comment about the whole page, not only about some piece of content. It's going to affect the whole page. Then next you can share it, add a report, you can change the visibility for the tasks, you can get to your dashboard, which we will come back to a little later. And here you can choose to view the page on a different device as well, because maybe 
something is wrong on a particular device and that's where you leave the comment then. And you can approve the page that all the tasks and comments are completed and approved. Now that we have all of our comments said and done, let's say this is our feedback that we've left to the page and now someone has to step in and actually do the changes. To do that, let's jump right back into the editor. Now, if we click on the collaboration button here again, what we'll see is our tasks. Okay, now if we open up this task, this is how it looks. Let's say we're starting to work on it. As you remember from before, we took that screenshot and now that shows us which is the image, which is like that piece of content that we commented on exactly. And this is where we can access all the other options that I showed you before. For example, if the priority was low, or at least the person who first made the comment thought the priority was low, now I'm starting to work on it and I think, no, this is actually high priority. I can change that right here. Same with the progress. As I said before, now I'm starting to work on it. I put it in progress. Now you can see that little comment. Everyone is going to know that I'm the one who moved this to progress and I'm the one working on it. And again, you can assign this to someone else as well. And in a nutshell, that's how Adrim and Visual Composer work hand by hand right here. But now we can go into the backend and explore a little bit there as well. So let's find Adrim here in the WordPress dashboard. And that opened up their task center, where you're going to see all of your tasks. You can filter them, obviously, and you can see each one of them here. This is the one that we added. As you remember, we changed the priority and marked it in progress as well. If you want to see where this task is, here you see all the attributes. You can click on open task page and now you're brought to the page where the comment was set right here. So you can make more comments or just see where it was. I have another comment here on a different page. And as you can see, I can easily access that from here too. And I can see that was this little menu item right here. Super easy. Okay, and that's how you work with Visual Composer and Adrim together. We hope that this integration will make your life way easier and make your projects done way faster. So you can get Visual Composer at visualcomposer.com and you can download both plugins from the WordPress plugin directory. So give us a like if you want to see more videos like this one and I'll see you in the next one.